My ciabatta stuffing with chestnuts and pancetta is a delicious new take on a Thanksgiving classic. I love the chunks of rustic ciabatta bread mixed with sautéed pancetta and vegetables. The woodsy taste of chestnuts and salty Parmesan cheese are what make the dish. Ciabatta stuffing with chestnuts and pancetta is good enough to become a family tradition. You can't have Thanksgiving without stuffing, and this is my awesome version of Italian stuffing. And one of the things I like to add is some pancetta. Now, pancetta is Italian bacon, basically, except that it's also flavored with garlic and peppercorns, which makes it even better and even tastier. But of course, you could substitute with just plain old bacon. And I'm just gonna cut it in cubes, and then we'll brown it up until it's crisp. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in my saute pan. And this stuffing has butter in it. I love the butter with the bread and all the vegetables. And while that browns, I'm gonna start with my vegetables. Two onions. I like to have chunky pieces, so I'm not gonna finely chop them. Now we need two carrots. They're tender, they're sweet. All right, let me take a look at pancetta. Ooh, looks nice. Turn nice and brown. It's gonna be so yummy. We're ready to add our onions. That to the pan. And a little bit more butter. I warned you I was gonna use some butter, and I'm using some butter. I wanna add a little bit of salt and some black pepper. So we'll let that cook down a little bit, and then we'll add the carrots and the celery. I'm adding three stalks of fresh celery. Put all that in. We'll cook those for a little bit until they become tender. Let me get my garlic ready. So we're gonna use two cloves of garlic. Now it needs some fresh herbs, and I'm gonna use some rosemary. Two tablespoons of fresh rosemary. We're gonna let that cook. Now, I've got a loaf of ciabatta bread. And the ciabatta bread is very thin, and ciabatta in Italian means slipper. We're gonna cut the two ends off. And I'm not gonna use them because they're a lot drier than the center. So I'm just gonna cut the ends off. Save those for later. I'm gonna slice the bread and then cut it into cubes. And this is day old bread, so it's dried out a little bit. And you could use sourdough bread, a baguette. You could use whole wheat bread if you wanted to. But ciabatta's my favorite, and this is basically the way my mom makes it, using ciabatta. So this is the way I'm gonna make it. Cut them in cubes, about a half to three quarter inch. I love using day-old bread for this because it absorbs the flavors so well and the pieces hold their shape. So now we're gonna use some Parmesan cheese, freshly grated Parmigiano-Reggiano, and some nice crispy bits of pancetta. A couple more things I gotta add to my vegetables. Chestnuts. Now, if you've never had chestnuts before, chestnuts have sort of the texture of a baked potato, but they're slightly sweet, and they have sort of a, a very mild, spicy flavor. You can cook and peel your own chestnuts, or you can do as I did. You can buy them in a jar, ready to eat. And I'm just gonna chop them a little bit. We're gonna add it to our vegetables and some parsley. And we'll toss it right in there and just combine all of these ingredients. Now, I'm gonna beat my eggs. And the eggs will bind the stuffing together. So a couple of eggs. Eggs beat, I'm ready to toss all my ingredients together. I 
I like to use about a cup or so of chicken stock. It gives the stuffing more flavor and it keeps it moist. I pour the stuffing into a buttered baking dish. And I buttered the foil as well, buttered side down, so that the stuffing doesn't stick to the foil. I'm gonna bake it at 350 for 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna peel off the foil and let it bake another 15 minutes until it's golden brown on top. Let's take a look at the stuffing. Ooh, it's ready. Wow. The bread looks crispy, it's brown, and it smells so good. Did you see what I forgot? Come on, give me your plate. You're getting the whole thing. Oh, look at that. That's too big. Every family has its Thanksgiving traditions, but you don't always have to serve the same old thing. Happy Thanksgiving.